Hey guys, Dan Yell here, and it is Flexible Friday, which means always something different. Um, and I like to have that option, and I like to have the opportunity to really kind of wing it and send something to you guys that maybe me be a little change up, a little bit more meaningful, and I love doing these videos. So hopefully you guys love them too. I hope you've had a great week. It's officially the first week of summer, which is awesome. I am here in Vermont, if you can see the mountains in the background there. Um, we have been on, this is finishing up our second week of vacation, which has been awesome. And I love the flexibility that I can check in with you guys even while on vacation. So it's been great. Um, so I've really been thinking about what I wanted to post today and I've been trying to track and keep notes of topics that I want to share or topics that come up and I feel like the best videos, the best topics and the best um, posts for you guys are really things that connect with us personally. So for me this week, um, you know, I'm around a lot of family and friends. We come up here every year and sometimes being around family and in close knit quarters um, can be a little stressful. It's fun, but then it can be, you know, you kind of get at each other every now and again. So one thing that I really thought about this week, it's been very relaxing. We've been doing yoga in the mornings. Uh, most of them play volleyball. I've been doing yoga with some of the ladies and just running it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, but one of the things that I really thought about was, and the topic of this video is going to be how much is on them and how much is on us. Meaning when you're in a stressful situation, when you're in an argument with someone, when you are, um, disagreeing with things, whatever it might be, do you really reflect on you more than you reflect on what the other person is or isn't doing. And the reason I thought about that was because um, we had a situation last week and um, we have someone in the family that just kind of gets a little bit more anxious and things like that. And I can tell, and maybe it's my background in nursing, I don't know, or just my awareness of people, I'm not sure. But you can tell some of it are things that it's just naturally who someone is, especially if any of you guys have anxiety, depression, um, if you get overwhelmed, panic attacks, anything like that, you know this feeling. That feeling when something is affecting you or bothering you and you literally, like, you just want to crawl out of your skin because, like, whatever's going on, you're just not comfortable with. So the problem is when that happens, a lot of people don't respond accurately. They don't respond the way they should. Usually they get upset and they get aggressive and that just makes it worse. If you're listening to this and you're someone that has that anxiety or has that overwhelming feeling, you know what I'm talking about. When you're already anxious and then someone gets mad at you for that anxiety, it makes you more anxious. It makes you more angry. It makes you more upset. Um, and there's a different angle to take for all of it. For you as someone with anxiety, if you're not doing something to try and help yourself improve that or try to overcome it or try to make it less anxious or panicky, um, I definitely recommend it. Personal development could take you a long, long way. Listening to how other people have gotten through it, um, fitness definitely helps with it as well, but it doesn't always eliminate it. Uh, one of my, one of the coaches on our team and the group, I can't remember if she posted about it yet. Um, but I'm like drawing a blank. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but Emily was telling me how when she um, has an anxious feeling, she writes something on a card. So let's say like the kids freaking out or I, don't, I can't think of a stressful inc incidence, but what she'll do is on the back of that card, write what has improved it in the past, what has helped it in the past. And I absolutely love that because when you're in an anxious, overwhelmed or panic moment, the last thing you can think of is what worked last time, right? Your brain is like mush. It's already gone. You're like, you're just thinking about that anxious, that anxiety, that thing that's causing you discomfort, um, emotionally, physically, whatever it might be. And I thought that is a great idea. And it's something that a lot of people can use. But in this instance, you're in a public place, you're with a group of people, maybe you're, you don't have those cards with you. And it really does start to reflect on the people around you. So if you're in a relationship with someone that has this anxiety, if you're best friends with someone that has these emotions and these feelings, I highly recommend you start to reflect on you. How do you respond when they get this way? How do you support 
support them through it rather than feed into it or make it worse, right? So think about the last time that you've been in this situation. How have the people supported you? What worked and what didn't work? What I want you guys to do today is really reflect on this and I want you to comment below. If you've been the person that has the high anxiety, the panic attacks, that overwhelming feeling, don't fear. Comment below. Let us know. Like, let us support you through this. Also, share two things. One that helped it, right? One that helped your anxiety lesson. One that made you feel supported. One that made you feel comfortable in the environment that you were previously not comfortable in. Two, something that fed into it. Something that made it worse. Uh, did the person you were around argue with you or point out that anxious feeling because that really does not help. That makes people feel that much more uncomfortable because now everyone's aware of that anxiety. Hopefully some of you guys are getting this message and understand. Um, it's just been something on my mind so it's something that I want to share and it's just something I took notice of last week and I really, um, it was kind of uncomfortable because I saw the person who was anxious and overwhelmed and I knew what the trigger was. And then I saw what fit into making it worse. And I felt bad because it was just like, man, if you really take in who someone is and you work on yourself and how you respond to that, you're not accepting that behavior. What you're doing is almost improving it with them. Because if you don't learn how to respond appropriately, it's only going to get worse. It's going to feed into it more and more. But if you support them through it, that anxiety is slowly going to improve in that specific situation. So maybe it's every time you're out with family or every time you go to a party where the person doesn't necessarily know everyone. Uh, if you're at a work event, um, if, you're ta if the person's taking care of kids all by themselves and that's not something they're used to, um, whatever it might be, typically it's uncomfortable, unknown, unfamiliar situations, right? So reflect on you. Look at yourself, how you're responding to them. So if you're the anxious person, comment below what has helped and what has hurt. And then if you're not the anxious person, comment below a scenario and share with us how you supported someone through that. Share with us how you may have fed into it. A great example, um, Adam can get flustered. We get flustered about completely opposite things. So of course that annoys people and you're like, I don't understand why you're freaking out right now. That doesn't make any sense, but it's something that bothers them. So we may not understand it, but we have to support them through it. So when Adam gets really flustered or frustrated or something's going on and he kind of freaks out a little bit, I usually can stay calm and I'm like, Hey, why are you freaking out? Like, tell me like, okay, well, don't worry. Let's get through this. Like, okay, here are the possibilities. And I'm, I'm like the solution girl. Like, it's good, it's bad. Some people want to hear a solution, some people don't. But when he gets freaked out on something, I'm just like, get in the zone, here's our problem, here's our possible solutions, let's figure out what's going to work, right? But in the opposite, when I freak out or I'm like getting flustered with something, he gets flustered right along with me and usually feeds into it and then it gets like angry and frustrated and it does not go well. And we've talked about it. I mean, it's open communication about it. And I just say to him, hey, when I'm frust frustrated and flustered, it's like they say do unto others what you want done to you. Well, no, like you really want to do unto others what they need because I calm him down and I wish that was him. Like when I freaked out, I wish he was saying, okay, just like let's think about this. But maybe I wouldn't perceive it the same way. I don't know. But comment below. So if you've been the anxious person, what has helped, what has hurt it? And if you've been on the other end of it, what have you done? Reflect back. If you think I haven't done anything, reflect back to a situation and think about, you don't need to name names, but think about a situation and share with us. And I, I hope that this really helps a lot of you guys. Read the comments, interact with each other on this one. And this may really be a big, great breakthrough, especially as summer is here. A lot of our schedules are changing, going on vacation, spending time with family, kids are home from school, um, juggling work and the kids and camps and everything like that. Life changes. Things can get to us. So let's support each other through it. Hopefully this message was, it will be perceived well for you guys. It's something that's been on my mind, so I wanted to share it. But 
The main point of this, are you reflecting on yourself before reflecting on what the other people are doing? Reflect on you and what your actions are and how you interact with people before blaming or being angry about someone else's actions. I hope you guys have an amazing Friday. Absolutely gorgeous up here. Enjoy um, your summer. Enjoy everything. We love this Empower House group. The more you guys interact, the more we know what you're liking and what you're not liking. So please comment, like, post, um, invite people to the group. We're super excited to keep you guys engaged. Um, if you need anything, let us know. But comment below. Let's get chatting. All right, guys. Have an amazing Friday. Bye.